Oh, hey. I got a call through the Comaray. From Magnuson, of all people. Said to grab my tool belt and meet you here. What's going on? What did he say? Let's see. It was something about hijacking some kind of rain satellite to launch bombs at the gunners. And that I was to meet you at Vault 111. The explanation I got was kind of brief, but it did seem important, so here I am. Although, still not entirely sure why. Everything okay here? Looks to be. Not much going on around the vault's entrance. I guess most people still think 111 sealed up tight. Would explain why no scabbers have come here yet. Maybe we should plant a flag here at some point. But for now, what are we doing here? Well, we can find out the answer. Ah, there you are. I assume you're at the vault. Good. Hey, um, Dr. Magnuson? Jake speaking. If you don't mind my asking, what exactly are we doing here? I mean, I get that we're gonna hijack a bunch of satellites to blow up the gunners, but... Have no fear, my boy. All shall be explained. I'm all ears. Your summation of the plan is correct, if a tad nebulous. We shall indeed hijack the atomic rain satellite, but in order to do so, we must establish a connection to the satellite network. And for that, we'll have to replicate a pre-war mainframe. What, like a supercomputer? <laughs> no problem. I've got a few ASAMs with me. Just send over some blueprints and we can start construction right away. Whoa, 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 whoa there, Sonny. Hold your horses. I'm afraid those paperweights you call ASAMs aren't up to the task. That's why I've sent you here. How does this device work? Prior to the bombs falling, Atomic Rain was controlled by a system known as ECAM. At its core, ECAM was just a large room of network computers, constantly communicating with the satellites it monitored and occasionally issuing commands. However, this communication was heavily encrypted and required real-time decoding. And that's what this supercomputer we build shall do. Okay. So tell me what we need. Now, as you're both aware, ASAMs enable even the mentally deficient to construct fairly elaborate structures with great proficiency. But what you may not know is that the devices you've been using are not true ASAM sensors. Robco stole my designs and simplified them, bastardized what should have been one of the greatest technological breakthroughs into a cheap product. But if we're going to build something as complex as this supercomputer, we're going to need the real McCoy. We're going to need an ASAM sensor built to its original specifications. Where would I find that? Why, right beneath your feet, of course. Go ahead and start the vault's entry sequence. Head inside and I'll guide you the rest of the way. Go on. The button should be in that control room there. Starting to get weak. Set the vault's comm system to our radio frequency. Already on it. 
Yes. Ha! Ah, there we are. Much better. Now, start Before working the bombs towards fell, the cryo I hid a holotape containing the original schematics for a number of my inventions down here, including the ASAMs. That's what you'll be looking for. This holotape. Uh, small problem, Doc. It looks like the vault security has kicked in. It's sealed the way. Hmm. Well, if you're where I think you are, you should see a fire control unit near a doorway. Uh, yeah, yeah, we see. Buck the intake near the bottom. It'll trick the vault into thinking a fire has broken out. Should open the overseer's emergency escape. Bingo! That did the trick. But wait, if there was a fire, shouldn't the door have remained closed? Yes, it should have. But Vault Tech were never big on fixing design oversights. That's why they resorted to bringing in people like me. Well, okay then. We're heading in. Eyes open, friend. Always. So, Dr. Magnuson, you worked on Vault 111? In a manner of speaking. You see, Vault Tech were struggling to achieve successful cryogenic suspension. Test subjects were being prematurely thawed out, resulting in tissue damage and cellular bonding with the consistency of runny oatmeal. I have a background in the field of cryogenics, so I offered my expertise in exchange for supplies and the funding for my pet project. This isn't the first time you mentioned this project of yours. Would it be out of line if I asked what it was? Yes, it would. We got another sealed door. I don't think the fire control trick is gonna work again. Or in the overseer's office, yes? You should be able to override the door controls from in there. Take a look around. <laughs> hey, you got the door open! Good job! All right, Doctor, I won't ask about your project again. But I would like to know why you'd hide your invention schematics down here, and not someplace else. There must have been a reason. Hmm. I can respect oh, a this mind. I'll answer that query. It wasn't only that holotape I planned to hide down here, but myself also. I reserved the use of a cryo chamber, part of my payment from vault -Tec. You were gonna freeze yourself? Down here? Why? I had set plans in motion that would take some time. Until said plans had seen fruition, there seemed little point in remaining conscious. But you never made it to the vault. Did you run out of time to make it down here, or...? No. I chose not to come. I discovered Vault Tech never intended for me, or anyone else, to leave Vault 111. We were all to stay on ice. Permanently. Hey, Doctor. I got another question for you. Why does that not surprise me? Why are you helping us? Fighting back against the Gunners, I mean. You know the Gunners have an employer, yes? But do you know what it is they've been employed to do all this time? I can't say that we do. To the best of my knowledge, the Gunners' contracted responsibilities are twofold. One, locate and secure components of a particular pre-war technology. And two, devise a way to deliver said technology to their employer. The late Captain Wes had already fulfilled the second part of the contract, and this new Captain Lamont 
is very close to completing the first. But what's that got to do with... This technology they've been searching for. They're called Ingram Tapes. And along with the ASAMs, they were a core part of my project. So that's why you're helping us. The Gunners are messing around with something that was important to you. It's personal. <laughs> my boy, this goes far beyond personal. Hey, we're seeing a bunch of those pods. I think we're in the right room. What now? Find and open my cryo chamber. I'm okay. Uh, how do we know which one is yours? It'll be the chamber I'm not in? Uh, right. This one is empty. Assuming this pod wasn't yours, this must be the right one. Go ahead, open it up. It's open. What do we do now? Next, you'll have to remove a component from the Steno. Oh, right. You mean that magnet rifle of yours. Hey, darling, can you pass me the gun? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Check the rifle's coil assembly. You'll notice a small control board. Pull out the gold-colored chip. Don't worry, it's designed to be removed. Wow. That's one tiny chip. Hang on, I need to find the right tool for this. Feel free to chat amongst yourselves. What's it do? Most of my creations are designed around proprietary software, or hardware, like that chip. Rarely, this was because I could fabricate more sophisticated components that were commercially available, or privately for that matter. But an added benefit of this is that my inventions and work became difficult for others to decipher, interfere with, or replicate. This acted as a safeguard of sorts, and it allowed me to use certain components as physical encryption. Oh, I get you. So the chip in this rifle, it's like a key. Precisely. And this key will open the way to where I hid the holotape. You'll find its accompanying lock on the inner section of my cryo chamber. All right, got the chip. Let's try giving this key a turn. Often concealed an old maintenance tunnel. The only way to find it was if you knew it was there. And if you had the key, of course. You'll find the hollow tape you need at the end of the tunnel. Well then, after you, darling. <sighs> Hell's teeth, it's cold down here.
How'd they even get in here? Sealed tight. Looks like this door had its own power supply, but it's long out of juice. Hey, Doc. You got another closed door down here? Any ideas? Um, Dr. Magnuson? Huh. Guess we're too far down for the radio to work. Looks like we're on our own. This door's frozen shut. Don't think we can pry it open. We're gonna need a fusion core to get it open again. If you don't happen to have a core handy, take a look around. Maybe we'll get lucky. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do here. Open says you. That's a done. Well, let's keep going. This looks promising. Let's see here. Hello there, little terminal. What you've got to say? Huh. Well, this is definitely where magazine hit the hollow. Problem is, I think it's down at the bottom of that flooded elevator shaft. I'm sending it to the command to ascend, but nothing's happening. Maybe all that water's putting too much strain on the elevator. The increased load is too much for the servos to handle. Hmm. I'm open to any suggestions you'd care to venture. Like what? I can't say that was the response I was hoping for. Maybe if you look around. There might be something in here that could help. We just need to find a way to get to that hollow tape. Well, that's using your head. With the extra power, we should have no problem bringing up the elevator now. All right, elevator coming up. Let's go take a peek, shall we? That looks like the hollow tape. Seems no worse from wear after its prolonged soak. Huh, seems there's some other goodies too. I'll keep hold of this for now. I'm gonna hit back up. Let Magnuson know we found the tape. Come find me when you're ready. Magnuson, you're still here. You know how it is, Bennett. Difficult to rest when there's still so much work to do. Work left to do. If anything, what ahead of schedule. 
111's refit is almost complete. Personally, I don't know how you did it so quickly. Let's just say I'm highly motivated. Ah, yes, your project. Most fascinating. Madison was telling me all about it just the other day. Mm -hmm. Was she now? And not that it's any of my... Why not? Oh, that's easy. We both know right it's only a matter of time. time. I've already Where signed would up you to stay on site when the world ends? Six whole months. Then, once we get the all-clear signal, we can wake everyone up and start rebuilding America. I'm looking forward to it. Six months? Is that what they told you? Well, I'm sure the time will just fly by. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Madison asked me to pass this on to you. It's the override key for 110. Should have no problems getting in with that. Oh. Uh, thank you. You worked on Vault 110, I assume. Yes, I was brought on to supervise the silo construction. I have a similar background to yourself, actually. Aerospace. Oh, I was devastated when 110 got the axe. I was worried 111 would go the same way. Thank God you got us back on track before they decided to fire me. You say, Bennett, about what they're planning to do with 111. Yes? Ah, never mind. Pass me that screwdriver. Well, that's using your head. The extra power we should have no problem bringing up the elevator. All right, elevator coming up. Entschuldigung. Hold on, I want to talk to Magnuson first. Hey, Doc, we found the hollow tape. Doc to Magnuson, are you there? I guess something must have come up. I suppose for now. I'll just keep hold of the hollow tape until we hear from him again. What do you think happened to him? I'm not sure. But it seems kind of strange he'd cut contact before knowing the results of our efforts. Say, if you don't mind the question, how are you doing? I mean, being back in 111. Okay. I don't want to talk about this. Of course. I didn't mean to pry. Just so you know, whenever it comes to these kind of things, you never have to shoulder them alone. I'll always do my best to help carry the burden. I care about you. 
I don't want to see you hurt, if, if I can help it. Well, I'd say it's time for me to head back to the HQ. Hopefully nothing has happened during our absence. Oh, and just an idea, but now that we've explored this place, why not officially lay claim to it? There's a lot of tech down here, not to mention a near pristine vault. That's a valuable resource in and of itself. Up to you, of course. But I think planting our flag here would be a smart move. Anyway, I guess we better get going. Stay safe, hon. You were a big help today. I don't know what I'd do without you. Was? 